Hey guys, I hope everybody had a happy Halloween. Uh, we are here in the second week of testing with full self-driving beta software. Uh, I did see in one of the forums that it's possible to get a higher uh, beta score, a safety score, by basically opting out and then opting back in again. I don't know if that's true, but it did work for somebody. Seems like that could be a way to get in earlier. Okay, here we are. Uh, so every single time now, it has not gotten in the right lane early enough, and it's doing it again. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it kind of fail again. Okay, so it's getting over into the right again, very, very late. Ooh, and then jerks out at the last second. So I'm. I'm. Ooh, it's. T wow. It it just about went straight through that intersection. It saw the green arrow as a green light. That was frightening. Um, <laughs> Definitely should not have tried to go through that intersection there. It completely misinterpreted that green arrow. So I've done that uh, intersection multiple times now, probably, you know, seven times or more, and every single time it's gotten it wrong. slowing down for this intersection unnecessarily. Wow, coming down to 30. It thinks that this is not a green light. Okay, that there is another problem there. It should not have done that. So I don't mean to be picking out all of the problems per se. It does do a lot of things well but when it makes these mistakes, so autopilot, my comparison here is autopilot. And in autopilot, I would have to take over or you know nudge it through different intersections and I had to interact a lot. Now I'm not interacting, I'm, I'm noticing that it's not able to fully handle these situations, which is disappointing to me, but I, again, I'm, I'm hopeful that it will get better here over time. It really, th th these uh, two scenarios that just happened there, where it misinterpreted that green arrow, didn't get into the far right lane soon enough, and then it didn't go through that intersection, those to me are pretty basic. So again, you know, it will impress me significantly in certain situations, and then in others it will really disappoint me. So overall, it kind of balances itself out. Okay, there it just uh, it saw someone trying to come in uh, from the side road there, and it slowed down a little bit. It, it, it was not definitely not noticeable on the video, but it did break ever so slightly, which is good. It's taking caution. It did see that car. That means it's recognizing objects and vehicles around me. Now let's see if it gets in the right lane here soon enough. Should be going now. Okay, again, very late. This is a trend I'm noticing. It changes lanes very late every single time. The red light here, it's hard to see once you're up here that there that the light is red, but it is red. So it has stopped, it is recognizing the traffic. There's quite a bit coming from the left. So we'll see how long it waits. It is clear to go taking extra caution. There's a couple other cars in the other lanes. Now it's definitely clear. Okay, there we go. Not bad, it definitely played it safe there. If there was someone behind me, they probably would have honked. Changing lanes into a faster lane. So that's one thing I've noticed is that it does not hesitate to change lanes in the middle of intersections, which is technically illegal. So here comes some pedestrians crossing the road. We'll see if it slows down for them. And it is slowing down for them.
So I had to press the accelerator a little bit to avoid it from stopping completely, which is expected. Now, in, in that situation, I completely, fully understand the need for an intervention. It, in all situations, should identify pedestrians and protect them no matter what cost. So, you know, they were coming forward. If I had let the car do what it was going to do, it probably would have gone, but it was being extra, extra careful. Thankfully, nobody was behind me, so it wouldn't have really annoyed anybody if I had fully put that to the test. But that's a situation that doesn't happen every single day. All right, coming up on a red light here. Should be really straightforward. So right in this intersection here is where I've had the car make several different mistakes, specifically on the left side over here when I'm coming in and turning left. Oftentimes it will get into the lane here, the turn left only lane, whereas it should get all the way over here to the far right. Nicely done going through that intersection there. Slowing down for this turn. Very nice with the distance it takes to slow down. Very natural. Putting on the blinker at an appropriate time. And uh, that brings us to our final destination. So uh, it was a little bit uh, weird with that right arrow. Uh, but like I said, I'm hopeful that will improve over time. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.